This is the MSI 915P Combo 2, MS7140 version 2, and we've got um, DDR, and pretty sure that's DDR2, or the other way around. You can't use both at the same time, you have to choose. So I've got a power supply here, um, 650 watt, totally overkill. Got a graphics card. And we have a working PC, so that's good. These are the memory settings for DDR2. Uh, this is one stick of DDR2. Um, we're getting 1.8 gigahertz, gigabytes, 1.8 gigabytes per second. We're getting 2.3. This is still DDR2. So we're going to put in the DDR1 memory. So we're testing one stick of DDR1 memory at the moment, getting 955 megabytes a second. Okay, so we've got two DDR1 sticks, getting 1.2 gigabytes a second. So you're going from potentially 945 megabytes a second, one stick of DDR1, two sticks of DDR1 running in dual channel, get 1.2 gigabytes a second. Switch over to one stick of DDR2, you can get 1.8 gigabytes per second. And then if you run two sticks of DDR2 in dual channel, you can get 2.33 gigabytes per second. So that's that's quite a decent sort of improvement in speed between DDR1 and DDR2. In fact, it's you know slowest one stick DDR1 going to two DDR2, you're getting over twice the speed, over twice the memory throughput. So that's uh, it's pretty decent. So there we go. There's our. DDR1 versus DDR2 video.